I'm not going to sugarcoat this. The Manila Borsha Road Spring Fest 2024 was probably the worst Borsha Road event I've ever been to. And no, it's not the various allegations that happened that day, although that could be another story if more information gets revealed about it. No, what I'm here to talk about is how over 60 teams including mine were cut off from joining standard format during day 1. Standard format was promoted that it'll accommodate up to 300 teams. But just right after players started to go in, the event staff makes an announcement that it can only accommodate up to 120 teams, barely even half what was promoted. Teams that pre-registered using the Bushy Navi app could only check in if the one member was at the event location with all their teammates decklist having been completed. But here lies the problem, like the Philippine Bank's online infrastructure during payday, the decklog website was not working properly thus preventing a lot of teams from checking in, since most players haven't completed their decklist. One could say that players should have been more vigilant and went to the event ahead of time as well as prepared their decklist days in advance. While not wrong, this shouldn't have been a factor when this was more of a technical and logistics issue. My teammates couldn't submit their decklist even the night before, then me and another teammate arrived at the venue an hour late due to how far it is and heavy traffic, while our last member was already on site prior to the mall opening. It was a no-win situation. The whole fucking point of the Bushy Navi app was to give players a convenient way to participate in events by giving organizers data to work with. There were allegedly over 180 teams pre-registered weeks before the event, yet the event staff didn't even inform players ahead of time that the venue can only accommodate 60% of pre-registered teams not accounting for on-site registration. Then on top of the decklog website doing its best error 404, it was also ongoing a new update where it forces players to put an energy generator on their decklist, or it won't create the list. Which take note, isn't even legal for the event, nor is it even out in the country, because fuck our customs. What should have been a day to play card games with the boys instead of against them turned into a day full of regret and disappointment. Tournament organizers should really plan ahead of time in making sure the venue can fit all applicants plus newcomers. And Borsha Road should invest in a new damn server for their deck log website. They have so much money after forcing players to buy a start deck just for one energy generator card. And that concludes today's rant. Special thanks to my Patreon members for continuing to support my content creation. Be sure to subscribe and let me know in the comments if using Ultra Pro Sleeves is a game lost worthy offense.